This is more of a community discussion than it is an announcement, but it's been revealed on stream by nothing from Cloud9 that Swag, the ex iBuy power player that was banned for match fixing, isn't even allowed to live in the Cloud9 house. For many, this comes as a surprise because he has such a promising future in Overwatch as he can no longer play CS professionally. In Valve's Integrity and Fair Play article just a year ago, they did announce that he would be banned from all future Valve sponsored events. It was also later revealed that he's not even allowed to coach or provide any sort of analytical insight to these pro teams at all. So if Swag is even in touching distance of these Cloud9 players, it gives Valve a reason to raise an eyebrow. Ultimately, the decision is made by Cloud9. They could very easily have Swag live in the Cloud9 house, but that wouldn't be the best interest of their Counter-Strike investment. This is where the community sees this as a problem. They say Valve is kind of overstepping their boundaries by not letting him stay in the Cloud9 house. But realistically, Valve can do whatever they want in this situation when it comes to these players playing their game. It wouldn't be any different if Cloud9 said, yeah, Swag is coming to join the house as our personal maid and slave. So what do you make of the situation? Do you think that Valve is reaching and really overstepping their boundaries as a game developer? Or do you feel that they're protecting the integrity and fair play of their game and their community? This is Fox on Point, and you're watching Esports on PvP Live.